Hey everybody, Action Figure Expert here, bringing to you a review on the Pursuit of Cobra, Storm Shadow, and Snake Eyes from Wave 1 of the Pursuit of Cobra series from G.I. Joe. Take a quick look at some of the packaging here. Take a look up here. It's got a, a, a number for the figure there. 10.04 if you take a look at snake eyes up here it's 10.02 I'm assuming that the 10 stands for the year you know because it's 2010 and uh, of course the 04 is in, in, he's number 4 in the wave and snake eyes is number 2 right there you can see that overall even though this package is a little bit smaller than some of the previous packaging. The cardboard seems to be a lot thicker and the design is a lot cooler. I like the blue border around the packaging if you can see there as well as the artwork. Check out that storm shadow right there. Take a quick look at snake eyes there. And on sides of the packaging you can see their names snake eyes ninja commando storm shadow cobra ninja each pursuit of cobra figure um, has a little different environment that they're based upon if you take a look here this snake eyes and this storm shadow are meant for the desert battle. There's also an arctic, a jungle, and an urban uh, set of figures out there. Here's their file cards. Let's see right there. Here's another quick look at the front of them. Take a look right there. There's a little sticker on there that says your new TV network hub. Um, there's a new channel coming around this fall. It's going to have a whole bunch of cartoons including the new G.I. Joe series, G.I. Joe Renegades and that's going to be called the hub and uh, on a lot of new upcoming Transformer and G.I. Joe products you're going to see that sticker there so that's what that's all about so, yeah here's a little look at what these guys look like in the packaging geez these guys look so so nice in the packaging I don't know if I want to open them uh, what do you think ah uh, what the hell alright let's see what these guys look like out of the package alright here he is out of the package Take a quick little look at them before I take them out of the uh, <clears throat> interior bubble. Comes with a pair of Mac-10 submachine guns. Comes with that rifle there. Check out that cool visor. This vest is really well detailed. You can see all the little indentations in the pockets. It's really, really nice. There's a sheath for his sword right there. There's timber. And of course it comes with a stand. Alright, let's take a quick look at uh, timber here for a second. Check out the nice detail on him. If you can make out his teeth there. He's got several different shades of gray and white on him, on his fur make that out. A nice little thing about this this particular timber compared to all the previous timbers that I came out is that he's got a little gimmick here. You move his tail like that his neck actually goes up and down. See right there. That's a pretty nice gimmick right there. For a second when I first saw this I thought that his neck was just articulated which technically I would have preferred 
over this gimmick here but it's still a nice little feature there's that alright let's take a closer little look at snake eyes here you see nice nicely designed vest he's got on there if you own any 25th style or rise of cobra figures then you should know what kind of articulation these figures have unlike star wars figures gi joe figures usually have a standardized points of articulation they they usually share the same amount same exact ones give or take a handful of them let's check out the visor there it's got a nice dull silver to it if you can make that out nice little thing is um, underneath his vest he's got a belt around his waist and on that belt around his waist there you got these straps holding his uh, his these straps in around his uh, thighs which are pretty cool there's that and of course on his back here you see that hole there take that put the sheath right there to the hole take his sword out slide that right in there alright here's snake eyes I got the uh, the pair of Mac 10 machine guns submachine guns in his hands see right there they fit really nice in his in his hands his hands are actually they're positioned in a gun in a gun holding way if you can make that out see his trigger fingers and right there this is probably one of my top five snake eyes figures really nice I was sort of skeptical about the way this snake eyes looked when I first saw him but uh... when I saw him um, in person it actually uh... really appealed to me there's that and um... As well as uh, this rifle he comes with there. The only thing I don't like about uh, the Pursuit of Cobra figures is that they went back into using the, uh, the 25th style anniversary stands which have these indented um, logos for G.I. Joe and Cobra. Personally, I like the Rise of Cobra stands better because they were basically flat for the most part. And uh, standing up figures on with these indentations right here, like with the G.I. Joe logo, isn't really that isn't really that good. They can get unbalanced sometimes. And now, uh, let's see, what else is there? I didn't notice, notice this until I took the stand out. Little Rise of Cobra catalog. Apparently comes with, uh, comes with this. You can make that out. Probably not. There's a better look. Little catalog. The Rise of Cobra. I think this shows wave one and wave two. 
You got Snowjob, Rakondo, Beachhead, Dusty, Snake Eyes, and Duke. And on the Cobra side, you got Cobra Commander, Destro, Storm Shadow, Zartan, Firefly. Uh, let's see. The Jungle Viper, I think. And an Alley Viper. Yeah, but uh, there's a little look at the uh, the first pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes. Of course, logically, there's <laughs> if you know Hasbro, there's going to be several other Snake Eyes figures in this same wave or same line, I should say. And uh, yeah, overall, the Snake Eyes right here, I definitely give I definitely give a ten. Articulation, well, for all G.I. Joe figures made nowadays, the articulation is always a 10. Availability, this is too new for me to really say what the availability of it's going to be. And um, for detail, the, de the detail is definitely a 10. Uh, Alright, let's take a quick look at uh, Storm Shadow. Oh, and uh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Check this out. Snake Eyes visor actually can move up and down. You see that? That is actually pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. All right. Even though this storm shadow right here isn't your normal looking look for him. I'd have to say this is actually a really nice rendition for Storm Shadow. Even though a friend of mine told me he looks like some sort of Arabic assassin. <laughs> but, uh, take a look right there on his shoulder. He's got a Cobra symbol tattooed there. He's got these, uh, he's actually got some soft goods right there. You know, fabric right there. You don't get too many G.I. Joe figures that have that. Um, he's got this, this, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, this big waist, um, attire right here. He's got a little, these pegs right here are meant to hold in his throwing stars that he comes with, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and you just check out the detail on this red outfit see the gold and the black on there and um yeah let's see in his hands he comes with a pair of these these blades right here small swords and actually each one one has a peg and one has a hole and you can connect them like that really nice and on top of that he comes with two more pairs of them which are actually longer than what he's got in his hands and they they slide into this backpack just like that and of course just like all the G.I. Joe figures take the backpack insert the peg into the hole That looks really cool on him right there. There's that. And, uh, let's see. Alright, like I said earlier, he comes with four f throwing stars. See how I have those right there? There are the pegs. Pegs on these little plates. And you just carefully put them into place like that you do that on both sides there's that Let's see storm shadow also comes this cool chain weapon And that right there, the chain on that, it's a good 
Hell a good five inches long. top of that he comes with a pair of these claws right here which are really nice as well as his stand but, uh, yeah there's my little review on on the Pursuit of Cobra Storm Shadow and snake eyes if you're a G.I. Joe collector and, and you love these two characters and you love G.I. Joe I highly recommend getting these guys hell even if uh, if you're not a G.I. Joe collector and and you've always wondered about G.I. Joe figures I'd have to say these two figures are primo to get I definitely Gives uh, Storm Shadow a 10 out of 10. Like I said earlier, both of them, both of them are really nice figures. Hell, I probably wouldn't have reviewed them if they weren't. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Watch my other reviews. Yada yada yada. Um, all right, you guys take it easy. Oh, uh, one last thing I forgot to say about Storm Shadow here. See his chain weapon there that I got on him? You can actually put the swords into the ends of that chain weapon. If you can see it right there. See how I got them inside there? So that's actually pretty cool. This, this is one storm shadow that uh, actually you can fit just about all of his accessories actually all of his accessories onto him. You can see on the back there how I position the uh, those claws. I just put one of the blades of each of the claws in between between a couple of the swords. They, they went in there pretty nicely. And yeah, there's one little last thing I forgot to mention about the chain weapon and the swords going into there. Alright, 